It's time to get paid. That's because in-app purchases are finally here. In-app purchases integrate natively and allow you to purchase digital things on both the Apple App Store as well as on Google Play and integrates directly with those payment systems. But what's the big deal about this? Well, previously on Adalo, you can use third-party payments like Stripe to purchase physical purchases. So if I wanted to purchase a cupcake and go pick it up and eat it, that was allowed. But if I wanted to use a digital purchase to unlock some sort of gated content, that was not allowed. But with in-app purchases that integrate natively with Apple and Google, it's finally allowed. So you can have your cupcake and your workout too. This allows you to unlock gated content like eBooks, workouts, recipes, coaching session. It also allows you to purchase things like removing ads or pro planned features. All right, there are three things to know about setting up in-app purchases. The first is installing it from the marketplace. So just like every other custom component, you go to the marketplace, you explore, you find in-app purchases, and then you can install it and set it up inside of your app. You drag it in, it works just like everything else. Part two is actually setting up the products with Apple and Google. So we're gonna go inside of Google Developer here, inside of the monetize section, and we're gonna create a new product. So in this case, we're gonna give that product an ID as well as some description. So tier one fitness class, for example, and then set up the price to match that specific product. After you activate it, then you can copy and paste in that specific ID back into the in-app purchases component for Android. Second, we're gonna set it up just like similarly inside of Apple. So there are a couple of different choices you can pick from inside of this. It works for all three of those. In this case, we're gonna pick non-consumable because that lesson and that workout never expires. And then afterwards, I'm gonna set up a reference name as well as again, a product ID. I'm gonna pick the price. And then after I've saved that, I'm gonna copy and paste the product ID from Apple and paste that into the in-app purchases component. You also can do this in the database and dynamically bring it in for different types of classes, for example, so it automatically comes to the database. Finally, we're gonna style the button and add action. So just like every button, we can make it branded to our specific look and feel. And then you can also set up different actions, whether when it's a successful purchase, I'm gonna link over here or update something. And if it's not successful, I'm gonna link over here or after they cancel, I'm gonna take this action. So just like that, amazing component. We have a special shout out. This was actually made in collaboration with Minimum Studio. They're an incredible expert that combines code and no code so that you can do whatever you want on Adalo. We'd really recommend them and adding to the Kimono Marketplace all the time. They're an incredible partner. Please continue to build amazing things on Adalo.